During the early years of the Second World War, a lot of people were aware of the German activity had off here at Cape Artway. Less well reported was the Japanese activity had off here, particularly the events of February 1942. A Japanese submarine surfaced off King Island some 90 k's away from Cape Artway. It had a watertight hangar on the deck. The plane took off from the submarine. Welcome to Australia. This is Cape Artway. Then the plane proceeds along the coastline to Point Lonsdale Lighthouse, the entrance to Port Phillip Bay in Melbourne. It's on a reconnaissance mission. It's spotted coming out the low clouds by the anti-aircraft gunners at Williamstown. They recognise it as an enemy plane. However, it's the first one they've ever seen. They're not really expecting it. So they phone through permission to headquarters to shoot it down. The story goes in headquarters, the phone was answered by the cleaning lady who said, well, you're too early. There's no one in. By the time they get permission to shoot it down, the plane rendezvous back out of the Bass Strait and makes escape. It's one of the real reasons why they go ahead with building the radar station here at Cape Otway, which becomes operational three months afterwards. It's because of that Japanese activity.